here's our setup. We've got our pulley with our string. This is going to be our accelerating weight. That'll be 50 grams. The weight of that will pull on the string and the string is attached to this cart and right now I've got it so that it can't roll. If I move those weights, you can see when I release the cart, the weight fell, the string pulled the cart, and I have left this gap here so that the cart falls into the gap and does not fly over the edge of the table. That's what this bumper is for, to prevent the cart from flying over the edge of the table. And the, cart, or the bumper is secured to the table with this clamp. The purpose for this plank is because our uh, pulleys don't fit on the, the table edge. The table edge down here is too thick, so the width of this wood is just right for this clamp to attach. So that's the purpose of this piece of wood. And you can attach this piece of wood to the table so it doesn't fall with another clamp. So here's the cart, or the track, excuse me, for the cart. And at one end of the uh, track, you'll have the ticker timer. And we're going to use the ticker timer to measure the distance and the time that the cart is being accelerated. So the way the ticker timer works is get a piece of ticker tape about this long, run it through the ticker timer like so, and then with a piece of tape, attach it to your cart. Now it's ready to record the data. Go ahead, hook your string up, hold the cart in place with your finger, make sure your ticker timer is set on 60 hertz, not 10 hertz, but 60 hertz, and as soon as you turn the power switch on, release the cart and let it accelerate. And then turn it off. You're going to do the experiment five times. Once with the cart by itself, then you're going to do it again with 200 grams of added mass, a third time with 400 grams of added mass, another time with 600, and the final and fifth time with 800 extra grams of mass. And because they're, they're on there loose, we don't want them falling off the table and hitting you in the toes, because that will hurt. So take rubber bands and just put them around the cart and then you can secure your weights to the cart with the rubber bands like this. There's one, two, three, four, and that way when they hit the end the weights don't fly off and land on your toe. Here you can see what the tape looks like after it's been run through the machine and we'll draw a picture of this on the board so you can see it more clearly. What you'll see on your tape is a big cluster of dots. That's where you turn the machine on but the cart had not yet started to roll. Then as the, roll, the cart starts to roll and pulls the tape through the machine, the tape moves through the machine and the dots are ger generated 60 times every second. So that means they're one sixtieth of a second apart. We know our equation for displacement with constant acceleration is the initial velocity times time plus one half a t squared. If it starts from rest, this term goes to zero, the initial velocity is zero, and I solve this equation for a. So I cross multiply the two, divide by the time squared, that equals my acceleration. So this distance will be the distance the cart has rolled and the amount of time it takes to do that. So to make it simple, count out to dot number 60. That way we know uh, because 60 dots are generated every second, if I go to dot 60, then this time will be one second and then I just measure the distance from uh, my cluster of dots 
out to dot number 60, and that's this distance. Multiply it by 2, and that'll give me my acceleration for this trial. Here's your data table that you'll fill in. First, you'll enter the mass of the cart all by itself, and then the mass with 200 grams or 0.2 kilograms added, 0.4 kilograms added, 0.6, 0.8 for your five trials. This will be the distance from the cluster of dots to the dot number 60, and you'll record that in meters. This is the time that it took to do that. If you always measure the distance to the 60th dot, then this time will be one second for every trial. Again, that's only if you measure the distance from the beginning to dot number 60, because there are 60 dots generated per second. And then using your equation, acceleration is equal to 2d over t squared, you will calculate the value for the acceleration for each of these five trials.